D-A-T-I-N-G. The hardest thing ever. This one's for the ladies out there because I love you very much. Before we start the video, make sure that you guys subscribe, like, comment, uh, show this to your friends, I guess, and your lesbian friends who might be interested in other women, your women-loving women. That's what I'm going for. So today, we're gonna be talking about the different types of lesbians on dates. Very different than Tinder dating or like just talking online. Like actual, real dates. And I've been on quite a few amount of dates, some great, some not so great. So these are kind of like just personality types that I've extracted from going on these dates. Uh, let's get right to it. First and foremost, the I'm um, the kind of girl kind of girl. Oh my god, these are, uh, I've met so many of these on dates. Um, Alright, so these are girls that you go on on dates with, or just people that you go on on dates with. And they have, they feel the necessity to always, I guess, like, explain the type of person that they are. So they'll probably be like, I'm like the kind of girl that I would never ever do that. Like, I, I would never think about even, like, doing something to that extent. I'm the kind of girl that just loves music. Like, I just go with the vibe, I go with everything. I'm the kind of girl that just loves to breathe and like blink and drink water sometimes. I'm like so special. I mean, like, it's kind of annoying. Like, I don't think, it, you know, I mean, obviously, sometimes we have to, we should explain ourselves as in why we are, how we are, why we are, who we are. But some people kind of like just kind of they push the envelope on that, where it's just like, I feel like you, I want to find out who you are. You don't have to actually tell me who you are, I think your actions will kind of speak more. This, yeah, this one's, um, I've seen this one plenty of times. The talk forever type of girl. <laughs> um, I think that this has nothing to do with being lesbian. I just think people like sometimes to hear their own voice. Uh, this is a type of girl that goes on a date and just does not shut up. Like she just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and there's never, like a silent moment or even kind of like an interest of knowing who you are she just rambles and rambles and rambles and rambles and most of the time she doesn't even catch herself doing it i think they might be oblivious to that i'll call this one the mystique y'all know mystique from x-men she's a girl that always moves or changes she can change her body form to anything or anybody that she wants to be yes there are girls that are like that in real life and i'm not talking about physical appearance this type of girl the mystique type of girl on a date is a girl that basically just agrees with everything you say like y'all could have a conversation you guys could be having a conversation and she says one thing for example oh what kind of music do you like and she'll be like i love country and then you'll be like uh i'm not much of a con a country you know like i don't really like country music i was just playing i hate country music like country music is like the worst type of music ever i so hate it uh, it's terrible like they feel the need that they always have to change who they are and then match what you like in order for you guys, I guess, to connect. Um, I've met a lot of people like that, where it's like, you're tell they're telling you this these things about themselves, and then you kind of contradict that, like, oh, no, I'm not really interested in that, or okay, cool, but that's not me, and they're like, oh, no, wait, I was just hanging out, I was just playing, I like this, I like what you like, I like everything that you like. I'm technically you. I, I was just playing about all the stuff that I like not sexy the perfect ghost i feel like i've probably gone on one or two of these um in my lifetime this is the type of girl that you go on a date and you guys hit it off at least you think so they're awesome they're cool they seem to like you you know you guys probably go on more than one date and then on the third or fourth date they literally disappear like it's like they built up this foundation like they told you they like you they told you they're interested in you they say you know they're thinking about you and then out of nowhere they're just like gone they don't exist anymore i feel like i could go on forever and ever about type of lesbian dates so i'm gonna let you guys have a little chance let me know what kind of dates or type of girls you've been on um in lesbian dates and then you tell me what type of lesbian dater are you you know are, are you the the you hauler the mystique are you you know something completely different let me know in the comments below make sure that you guys like don't forget ladies to subscribe and i will see you guys next time you're my type girl